Good morning and welcome to Sunnyside News where we bring you only the most positive and interesting information from the heart of Florida right here in Polk County. Today is Friday, October 7th, 2016. Welcome everyone to today's program. Sunnyside News is sponsored by Nature's Place, home of the Key Network and Speech Therapy Services. The first good news item I would like to share with you comes all the way from England. This is an amazing story that actually began back before World War II when two young girls, Mary and Kathy, befriended one another. They were just 10 years old at the time. Well, they instantly became inseparable until one day, 77 years ago, when Kathy eloped during the war. Well, the two women began writing to each other every day and mailed the letters weekly. They maintained this for 77 years until Kathy's wreaths of death this past August. They also vowed to burn the letters as they told each other everything. And Mary insists that they told each other everything. So no doubt that they wanted to burn all those letters. But what a great, great thing for all those decades. The next story I would like to share with you actually comes from Africa, from Rwanda. The war-torn country in Africa has seen its share of the destruction and devastation that war can cause, particularly for civilian women who are enduring unspeakable horrors. Well, the creation of Same Sky to help these women lift themselves out of poverty and empower them to live long, productive lives. And they are doing it through jewelry. Francie Lefrac, a film producer, partnered with another organization to help these women. All it took was having someone who cared about them, she said. Just having someone care changed these women and empowered them to be self-sufficient. Now, these women receive the education they need as well as training for them to handle their finances. And their jewelry is just beautiful. You can see some of that at samesky.com. Another story I would like to share with you today comes from Canada and back in May wildfires ravaged an area known as Fort McMurray. Well, 16-year-old Jada Pollum and her family were told that they must evacuate, except they had three horses and they were not leaving them behind. So the family evacuated by riding their horses out of town. How cool is that? And it was only until a few weeks ago that the horses were reunited with the family due to the devastation in the area. And Jada, of course, is very happy as well as feeling a great sense of peace and normalcy now that all of her family members are back together. What a happy ending. The next story I would like to share with you actually comes from Syria. Now due to the unrest, many families have had to flee the country and unfortunately leaving their cats behind. Well, Muhammad Jalil has not only rescued these cats, but he has started his own little cat sanctuary and he has vowed that he will never leave them and will return the cats to their owners should the owners ever return to Syria. Jaleel has stated that since his friends have also left the country, these cats have now become his friends. Further, he stated that someone who has mercy in their hearts for people has mercy for every living thing. Hats off to him. What a great project he took on. You know, this is October now, and just some interesting bits of information about October. October got its name from the Latin numeral octo, which actually means eight, because October was originally the eighth month in the Latin calendar. Hawaii has a very special event every October called the Aloha Festival, which is actually the Mardi Gras of the Pacific. And of course, Germany has their Oktoberfest every year. Now, some more interesting information just for you to know, October is Adopt-A-Shelter Month, it's the American Cheese Month, it's the Caramel Month, it's the Pasta Month, it's the Pizza Month, I don't know, I think every month is the Pizza Month for me, but October is also Squirrel Appreciation Month, and I'm sure many of you did not know any of that information. Moving right along to the events of the weekend, I would like to invite you on October 8th is the Star Wars Reeves Day at the Lake Eva Park in Haines City. Now this will be from 4 to 7 p.m. There's going to be a costume contest, food, a parade, there'll be crafts and prizes, and of course, a special showing of Star Wars The Force Awakens at 7.30. Now you can get further information on this by calling 863-421-3633.
Also this weekend on October 8th in Lake Wales from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m., the Florida Natural Grove House will have a citrus theme event. I can guarantee you it will involve probably something with pumpkins also. But this is an event for the whole family. It is free. You can get further information by calling 863-679-4110. Happening on October 9th is a Nature Appreciation Tour at Mackay Gardens in Lake Alfred. This is also a free event. They will be bringing you up to date and giving you information about the latest ecological changes in the area. This will be from 2 to 3.30 p.m. You can get further information by calling 863-291-5272. Well, as usual, I would like to wrap up today's program with a nice quote for you, and that goes, Happiness is when what you think, what you say, and what you do are in harmony. And that was said by Mahatma Gandhi, not surprisingly. So, that is our program for today. Go out, have a great weekend, enjoy the October weather, and don't forget to join us next week, and always remember to keep your sunny side up. Bye for now.